Good morning, Bucknutters, and welcome to the Morning 5 on Monday, June 16th, 2014. I am Dave Biddle. On Saturday, the weekend got started the right way for the Buckeyes when they picked up their first commitment in their 2016 class, running back slash slot receiver George Hill from Hubbard. The six foot, 182 pound Hill is ranked as the number five running back in the country in the 2016 class and the number 57 player overall in the nation, according to 24-7 Sports. Hill also had offers from Cincinnati, Kentucky, Michigan State, and West Virginia. As a sophomore in 2013, Hill rushed for 1,300 yards and scored 17 touchdowns. Ohio State's coaches have told him he will play the same position that Dontre Wilson currently plays for the Buckeyes, the slot receiver slash H-back role. That's why this should not affect the recruitment of Hill's high school teammate Larry Scott. Scott, who is ranked as the number 7 running back in the country in the 2015 class, is reportedly leaning toward accepting the Buckeye scholarship offer. At six foot 205 pounds, Scott is more the traditional running back, whereas Hill and his excellent speed can move all around the field. So recruiting has really picked up for the Buckeyes this month, as expected. Last month, we were talking about Ohio State only having two commitments in their 2015 class. Now they have six, and already have their 2016 class off and running, thanks to Hill. Now for more on recruiting, let's go out to the Dean of Ohio State Football Recruiting, Bill Curlick. This past weekend was another big recruiting weekend and very productive recruiting weekend for the Buckeyes. Offensive lineman Andre James from Utah visited Ohio State this past weekend and went home saying that the Buckeyes are definitely in his top three. And 2016 Ohio State quarterback target Dwayne Haskins, the Buckeyes' number one 2016 quarterback target, visited Ohio State all weekend, and I feel good about the Buckeyes' chances of eventually landing Haskins. Now, on Tuesday, things really heat up again for the Buckeyes on the recruiting front as the Ohio State Skill and Big Man Camp starts. It's a two-day camp, Tuesday and Wednesday, and Nick Connor will be camping on at least Tuesday. He might come back on Wednesday, but he will definitely be there on Tuesday hoping to earn a scholarship offer from the Buckeyes. But what is really big is some of the prospects visiting Ohio State on Tuesday. Super running back Damian Harris looks to visit Ohio State on Tuesday, and the Buckeyes' number one target at tight end, Chris Clark will visit Ohio State on Tuesday. I feel good about the Buckeyes' chances of eventually landing a commitment from Damian Harris, and I feel cautiously optimistic about Ohio State's chances of landing Chris Clark. There's been a lot of talk that Clark will end up at Michigan, and I'm not saying that that won't happen or can't happen, but I think the Buckeyes are right there, and with a great visit. Certainly, I think Ohio State has a very realistic shot at eventually landing Chris Clark. He is still planning to announce his decision in July at the opening, and he says as of right now, he is slated, he thinks, to make the announcement on July 8th, although that is subject to change. It could be the 8th, 9th, or 10th at the opening, but right now he thinks it will be July 8th. In my What I Am Hearing, I have more on Chris Clark as well as Dwayne Haskins, and certainly you want to check out What I Am Hearing as we get ready for another big recruiting period for Ohio State. Thank you, Bill. It'll be very interesting to see if Nick Connor earns a scholarship offer from Ohio State this week. To read Bill's What I'm Hearing feature that he mentioned, you need to be a subscriber. You also need to be a subscriber to read the Daily Boarding House, which has the latest rumors and inside scoops regarding the team and recruiting. If you're not a subscriber, try our free trial to make sure Bucknuts is giving you everything you want in an Ohio State site. Former Ohio State wide receiver Santonio Holmes is still looking for work. The eight-year veteran was released by the New York Jets earlier this year and has still not been signed by another NFL team. Holmes was a first-round pick by the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2006 and was named MVP of Super Bowl 43. Holmes says he's no longer looking to be a number one wide receiver. He just wants to find work. I think an NFL team will sign him, but it's not good news that we're sitting here in mid-June and no one has picked him up yet. Dan Rubin did a bolt on this last night, and we're currently talking about it on the front row message board. So, come and join the discussion. And what can only be described as excellent news, Tim May from the Columbus Dispatch reports that Braxton Miller is now throwing a real football, not just a Nerf football, as he continues his recovery from off-season shoulder surgery. 
Ohio State head coach Urban Meyer says that, quote, Miller is a little bit ahead of schedule. Meyer added that he's confident Miller will be at full strength for the start of the season, and he praised Miller's attitude and demeanor. Miller will be on the short list of Heisman candidates this season, but it's a concern that he's coming off surgery to his throwing arm. However, I feel much better after hearing this news. Thank you for joining us for the Morning 5. I hope everyone has a great day. Take it away, best damn band in the land. <laughs>